Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new, I am Zesty. So today I have another DIY for you and it's actually sitting right behind me. This here is my latest creation DIY. Well, this one and this one, except this one's my favorite. So I made these really cute boho beach type inspired pillows out of $5 rugs. <laughs> This is a no sew project, so if you are afraid of sewing, if you don't have a sewing machine, this DIY is perfect for you. If you guys end up liking this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more of me, then definitely subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. I appreciate all the love and support. Anyways, let's get into the video. I purchased these $5 chindi rugs from Giant Tiger, which is a Canadian discount store. I really like the color and texture on these and I ended up using one rug per pillow. And I also used this really pretty mustard yellow yarn for an accent color. You can make these pillows with a similar rug as long as it does have some fringe on the long sides. And it has to be roughly the same size as this one I would say, which is about 25 by 33 inches or so. And the pillow inserts I used for these were 20 by 20 inches, which I believe is the standard pillow insert size. So the first thing I did was to attach the two long ends of the rug together with my glue gun. And I actually folded the bottom inner end upwards so that the fringe on each side of the rug would be facing out and downwards when attaching it. I feel like that sounds really complicated as I'm saying it, but you'll see what I mean in the video. It's super simple. I used an even amount of glue all the way across the seam. And as I was gluing it down, I used my hands to mold it and to make sure that everything was looking nice and even. Once that was done, I fixed up the fringe by combing it downwards with a pet brush and I actually trimmed it. Uh, there was some pieces that were uneven and I thought that the fringe would look nicer being a little bit shorter. I then used Aline's Fabric Fusion Glue to attach some yarn on top of the fringe. And I've used this brand of glue in particular before and I find that it works really well. The reason I decided to use this instead of the glue gun is really just because I wanted a very seamless look and I was worried that you'd be able to see the glue from a glue gun for this. I made sure there was an even amount of glue all the way across so that the yarn would stick really well. I ended up adding three strips of yarn and I made sure to leave a little bit of yarn on each side so that I would be able to tuck it into the pillow. If you decide to make this pillow with a similar rug, you can get totally creative with this step and do all sorts of different designs. Because this pillow is so textured, I did wanna keep it simple, so I felt like the three strips of yarn on the fringe was enough for me. I wanted to make sure that the fringe would fall downwards on the pillow, so I created a small fold and glued it down with my glue gun so that everything would stay in place after stuffing it. I also let the yarn dry for about an hour before moving on and folding and gluing the extra bits of yarn around the back of the rug fabric like so. Before moving on to attaching the side of the pillow, I made sure to 
position the fringe to the spot where I wanted it to be because after you glue any of the sides down, it's gonna stay in that spot. So I wanted it more so in the middle or the center of the pillow, so I did that before moving forward. And I attached the side of the pillow with my glue gun, making sure to use an even layer all the way across. And again, I used my hands to mold and flatten it out so that all of the edges and corners lined up nicely. Because this pillow is more rectangle than square, I ended up cutting out the pillow stuffing to form it into the shape of the pillow before inserting it. I think this also helped with extending the stuffing and making it a little bit fluffier than it was inside of the casing. I used my hands to make sure the stuffing was all evenly spread out in there before gluing this side down. So I ended up making two of these and this is how they turned out. This was honestly so easy to do and I think they turned out really, really well. I really don't think you can tell that I put these together with a glue gun, which is so amazing. So if you did stumble upon this video because you were looking for a way to make a decorative pillow, then I hope that this video did provide that help and inspiration for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it inspired you and I hope that you have an amazing, rest of your day. If you did end up liking it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, then let me know in the comments. If you want to see more of me, then you can subscribe to the channel. And yeah, thanks again. I'll see you all really soon. Bye.